Welcome to Bane Shake. My name is Charlie, and for several weeks now, I've been doing toy reviews on Thursdays. So I decided I would just sort of keep that going since my regular content takes a lot longer to put together. If you are interested in that sort of thing, I would recommend you check out my series, A Brief Ish History of Assassin's Creed, for some more in depth entertainment. For the purposes of these reviews, however, I've never actually looked in at any Funko Pops. I used to collect them fairly heavily, uh, going back as early as college. I think my first one was technically senior year in high school. Uh, but I sort of gotten to the point where, several years back, I had pretty much all of the characters that I really wanted, so I only occasionally get them. Now, as you may have noted from the thumbnail or from the title, this one was 99 cents. It was a dollar. Uh, I was in a Walgreens just looking around to see what other things they had because Walgreens does tend to have some interesting selection on toys that might not be available elsewhere. Figures, toys, all of that that they categorize together. And like I said, 99 cents. What makes this particularly weird, because as you can see it is Taskmaster from Black Widow, is both at the time I was in the store picking this up and at the time that I'm reviewing this, the movie is still in theaters. In fact, if this uploads when I think it will, uh, as it gets scheduled out, the movie's still going to be in theaters. And yet, despite being still in theaters, the Funko is sitting there on clearance. That's not really that surprising considering the COVID-19 pandemic pushed everything. These actually released early in 2020. Now, I am not going to spoil the movie for anyone who has not seen it. But be wary, Taskmaster is a point of contention for really having disappointed a handful of fans. And by a handful, I mean anyone who's a fan of Taskmaster from the comics. I'm not going to go into those details sufficiently. I agree, Taskmaster was just not done in a new or interesting way. It was a new way, and it was not interesting. It was generic elite bad guy number 57 is what it felt like. I'm not going to talk about that for this. I'm just going to look at the design of the pop, both compared to the movie and just compared to the character in general, because that was also a fairly contentious point when the first trailer started dropping. Everyone was like, eh, it looks kind of generic. In fact, to further that point, I specifically picked up the Taskmaster wearing the hood, as you can see here, and not the Taskmaster not wearing it because it gets even more generic when Taskmaster isn't wearing the hood. This one was also on clearance sale, but it's just so very unrecognizable as Taskmaster. If you haven't seen the movie, and let's say you haven't even heard of the movie, and you looked at this, you'd think this was some sort of Call of Duty character, perhaps. You'd be like, when did they add archery to Call of Duty? It does, it just doesn't do it enough. So I didn't even bother, even though that one was only 99 cents. You're not going to see a review for that one. I did pick up the one with the hood and the shield, the, the distinct almost T shape that is on the shield, I felt did a closer job. We'll actually open this up and see what I think. Uh, it does show the other Black Widow ones. There's the uh, two that they identify as Natasha Romanoff and Black Widow. I just find it very interesting that the white winter gear is the one they labeled Black Widow and the one in black they didn't, but that's neither here nor there. There's also Yelena Belova, who honestly is really more of the main character of the movie. I feel like she got the better focus. And Red Guardian, who didn't actually end up doing very much in the movie. Uh, on top, there is the usual thing where it's the character saying it. It doesn't say like pop movies or anything like they sometimes do. It does just have Marvel. Uh, and of course the character, the top of the character's head says it. Uh, the side is just the cartoon imagery instead of the real thing saying pop again. And of course the other side just says the name and the number. This is Taskmaster 
605, I'm guessing Marvel figure 605. I don't remember exactly how they did the numbering for the Marvel stuff, so there may not have been 605 of them. I could not tell you. A lot of people like to keep their pops in the containers, and I don't really like the way it looks, just uh, for the record. So, the box itself, it does have a pretty cool Black Widow background so that it, you can see the uh, logo behind Taskmaster, so that's nice. And we have Taskmaster in the plastic, not in the flesh, but in the plastic. Uh, and to anyone who doesn't know, the certain Disney properties, um, Marvel and Star Wars for sure, I'm not sure if any of the other properties do or don't, have to be bobbleheads just because of how licensing for toys works. Uh, some other company must have dibs on anything that would be a figure or a collectible figure, so they have to make them as bobbleheads um, for the most part. I think some of the special packs do not, but I couldn't. Don't quote me on it. They also usually have stands if it's particularly unstable. And this one, I can tell right off the bat, is not going to be the most balanced. Uh, Taskmaster is sort of trying to fall forward. So that's not ideal. So that's not a good start. Just falling over. Uh, I will go ahead and say, though, that I do like how the color comes through. I didn't realize uh, looking at it in the box, of course, but the blue and the, the orange and the detailing really pop, no pun intended, nicely. Uh, there's some good orange and silver in on the sword and shield. Anyway, let's, let's just get to the crux. Is this recognizably Taskmaster? Honestly, I would lean towards yes. With the hood up, it is enough of a skull look that I would say, yeah, you can tell with this one. It, even if you didn't know the movie existed, a, task a Taskmaster fan would probably be like, oh, that's a unique take on Taskmaster. Your mileage is going to vary on how good the movie design is. And honestly, that's sort of what this hinges on. I don't hate it. I think if the movie design were just immediately everyone loved it, this would be a spot on, no questions about it. Everyone would be like, yeah, another good pop. But with the movie being so noticeably different, it's hard to say outright how much you're going to like it. That's really why I'm just trying to focus on the visuals here, letting you look in. Do a 360. Uh, this one may win over some people who don't always like the pop look since the eyes are behind goggles. It doesn't just have the big round eyes that some of them have. Some people find those to be creepy, but... If you like this design and you don't usually like the big eyes, there you go. This one, the eyes are behind goggles. All in all, I can say this was definitely worth 99 cents. There's no question about that. In my mind, it is worth the clearance price of 99 cents. All in all, it's a pretty good figure. As far as pop quality goes, it shows the usual pop quality. There's just a ton of detail. I have definitely spent a dollar on dumber things before. If you did like the video, please drop a like. Give a comment down below on what you think about the design in general, both for the pop, for the movie, what would you have done differently. Feel free, if you want to get into spoilers down there, to do so. Just be wary that if you don't want to see spoilers, I am not doing much to moderate my comment section. Since people don't comment that often, I'm just going to leave it fair game, so long as everyone's being respectful to each other down there. If you do want to check out some of my other content, I look at a lot of video game stuff, I look at a lot of superhero stuff, I obviously look at a lot of Assassin's Creed. There's an ongoing series of videos if you want something a little shorter than my Assassin's Creed videos, you can look in at some crappy rip-off games I found on the App Store. 
Long story short, everybody stay safe out there and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.